Hey Goddard Lions, this is your Goddard Friday. It's a senior special. We're your hosts. I'm Emma Culver. And I'm Taryn Edwards. If you haven't seen our past few shows, you can find them on YouTube by searching Goddard underscore media. Make sure to subscribe and give us a follow. The class of 2022 will graduate on Saturday, May 14th. As of right now, they have two days left to roam the halls of Goddard High. On the Goddard Media staff, we count with five seniors who will leave us with forever memories. Each one of them will showcase their final segment. And first up, we have Jacob Spawn. Jacob, what has been your favorite memory working on the Goddard Media staff? Uh, probably producing the shows, and I've uh, been doing that for the past two years. My video editing skills, uh, because of it, has increased like significantly. So it has oper uh, opened job opportunities for me. Now I want to talk about my segment. For my whole entire time being in Kansas, I've been a huge fisher, and uh, it's one of my favorite summer uh, things to do. So in this segment, I'm going to bring to you uh, how to fish this summer. Fishing during the summer can be a hassle. Really? That's why I go with my trusty Texas rig, Senko. The Senko in choice I am using is Guggen Squad Lunker Log 5-inch Senkos. You can find them at Academy Sports. Really? The type of action you want with your Texas rig Senko is a slow jigging action, but you also want to reel in at the same time. Setting the hook on a fish is quite simple. Basically, all you want to do is jerk as hard as you can, and you really want to dig that hook deep into that fish's lips. Wow, look at that absolute monster of a fish. Bass can survive 10 to 15 minutes out of water, so feel free to take a picture while you're at it. What an amazing hook placement. That's a pretty good hook placement. I decided to move spots to prove to you that this works everywhere. Though, I changed up my tactics and used a wacky rig. This is what a wacky rig looks like. Yeah, in fact, you can catch fish, as I will prove to you right now. Though I had a pretty weak hook set, I still caught the fish. I guess I'm a pretty good fisher guy. When fighting a fish, make sure you keep your rod tip down. That keeps the fish in the water. If the fish was to jump out of the water, that increases the odds of the hook coming out. And with that, you're ready to catch lots of largemouth bass this summer. Now, we've enjoyed catching people in the halls and asking random questions, but we're slowing it down this week's line and tail. Next up is senior Brayden Burdett. Brayden, what has been your favorite video slash segment to work on? Uh, so my freshman year, I did a powerlifting video because I've done powerlifting all four years of high school. So that's probably the best one. But uh, on this segment of My Line and Tell, I'm going to ask seniors what are some memories that they remember and what are some things they're going to miss about high school. Someone asked me once in an interview, what was growing up like? Where'd you go to school and what would you do if you weren't doing this? I'd be driving my Hi, my name is Haley Lewis. I'm just going to miss getting to work every single day because I just can't sit still. I don't like the classroom setting, so I love being able to come in and work hard and build and be creative every single day. My guitar in an old bar stool. It's Gabe Villegas, and we're here at the Goddard Lions basketball court. My name is Logan Waring. Uh, my favorite memory is definitely the gym. My name is Riley Crofts, and we are in the gym where my favorite memory took place. It was volleyball and powder puff. And this is my favorite memory because we won senior night here and we got all crazy and we scattered the floor and went all crazy and enjoyed my last time playing on this basketball court. Uh, what was one of your favorite games you guys Definitely dodgeball. I, I definitely enjoyed dodgeball. Lots of, lots of fun. The experience so fun. Um, it was definitely becoming close with all my friends and the practices and all the laughs and memories that we made. I'd still be the same guy they knew back in the day. Hi, I'm Abby Botkin, and we are at the football field. Last game, I was really sad because 
obviously it was the end of it for high school. Hello there, my name is Dalton Dunn and this is where German is taught and learned. One of my favorite memories was after we finished all of our work, uh, this allegedly happened. Me, O'Neill, and Lake got to the back of the classroom and learned how to waterboard. And we may or may not have waterboarded O'Neill that day. I think Bailey Kimball. She's my best friend and my rock from last year. Uh, I want to thank Mr. James. He was pretty, pretty dope to me last year. Helped me out. Mrs. Hinton, all the office ladies, and Mr. Buchanan, Mr. Bridwell, Trudy in the office. I think I'd say Weber, probably Coach Weber, um, because I appreciate him like sticking with us my four years since I've had him since a freshman, and uh, he really worked hard and put all of his time and effort into this program. And, you know, we got to a better place and hopefully in the future it'll be in a better place as well. So. I want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Edel, my director. She's absolutely my role model and I would not be where I am today without her. I would like to thank Frau Schendel for having this class and allowing me to have fun in here and be myself. I would thank Mr. Zimmer for everything he's done for us, for supporting us, for helping us grow in our journey. I definitely thank Mr. Andrews because he's impacted my life, he's impacted my success, and he's helped me build the confidence that I need to succeed. Now the seniors aren't the only people leaving. Goddard actually has one staff member who's retiring. Here to tell us who is in your Carly Collier. Hey Carly, can you tell me one important thing that you've learned from being a part of Goddard Media? Um, I've learned good communication skills and I learned that if you work with a team you can get stuff done. I'm excited to be graduating, but I'm not the only one exiting JHS. Mrs. Kim Hootner is retiring. Here's the information. One of the three counselors at JHS is retiring after 32 years of service. Ms. Kim Hootner, the P3Z counselor, will be leaving JHS. As we celebrate the end of the year, let's take a look at her experience with the Goddard Lions. Principal Doug Bridwell says she's been an asset to this school. She has been an incredible asset to Goddard High School for so many years. She's impacted students' lives in ways that continue to impact them even as they are older adults now. Uh, Mrs. Hootmer has a passion for students, for caring for them. She has a passion for education. She has a passion for a job that she brings every day. She has helped organize Pride events as well as helped students prepare for their future. I just love the stories and I love the relationships and um, you know having been in Goddard since 1990 so this is my 32nd year eight years teaching middle school every language arts subject known to mankind um, and then 24 years at the high school as a counselor. She taught for eight years before becoming a counselor where she helped kids for 24 years. I think my heart is still with um, I think that's where my heart is, but it really stretched and grew me and kind of built a confidence that maybe that is the right direction to go. She has impacted me greatly. She is a friend. She is a mentor to me, and she is an inspiration to me. Hoopmer will use her experience to continue her career as a therapist. Reporting for GHS Media, I'm Carly Collier. Aside from our broadcasting staff updating you about school activities, there's another group that captures all the memories. Senior Sophie Carlson showcases the yearbook's staff's effort. Hey Sophie, we're so glad you joined the second semester. What has been your overall experience being on the broadcasting team? I've enjoyed some of the relationships I've made and I've enjoyed uh, learning how to edit and uh, learn a lot about photography. Now I want to talk to you about the yearbook staff that I'm also a part of. They have been working tirelessly to create the best yearbook yet. Take a look. Hi, my name is Sophie Carlson, and I am part of the yearbook staff. I'm going to tell you what the other seniors have learned. Hi, I'm Annie. I'm the editor of the staff. Things I've enjoyed is getting to know new people, and then I feel like I've gotten better at photography 
and interview skills. It's really fun being the editor-in-chief. Um, I remember freshman year getting so much help from my editor, so it's really cool to be able to do that for the younger students in the class. Hi, I'm Aaliyah Solis, and I am a senior on the yearbook staff. My favorite place to take pictures was the football games. I joined yearbook staff because I wanted to do journalism, I think, and then I I just like it now. To round out our senior members and their final projects is Taylor, who has produced some of the most creative videos for our show. Hey Taylor. <laughs> Hi Taryn. Now you have an eye for editing. Can you talk to us about that creative process? Um, I pick out a song that I think emulates the same energy of whatever the video is supposed to be, and then I edit like videos that match the dynamics of the song, and then it just kind of all pieces together like that. Yeah. Um, I created the senior video, and it was aired at the senior luncheon and at graduation, and it was a very near and dear project to me. Um, unfortunately, I'm only able to share a small clip, but if you want to see the whole thing, which you, should, you totally should, um, you can see it at Goddard underscore media or at Tato Taps on YouTube. Last weekend, the choir department put together a special performance. Ashlyn Adams recaps the event. On May 7th and 8th, the Goddard Choir performed their 25th annual Lion Mania at the high school. All the choirs danced and brought their 80s spirit, performing songs like Built the City, Physical, Holding Out for a Hero, and much more. Throughout the years, the choir had several student achievements. Aubrey Culver, Ali Snyder, and Gabriel Villegas performed at the SWACDA Honor Choir. Choir solos and ensembles got a one rating at state. Choir as a whole also got a one rating at state. Congratulations to the GHS Choir, and thank you for an amazing year. This has been Ashlyn Adams reporting for GHS Media. Spring sports have been busy gearing up to finish regular season play. Here to give us a recap is Jordan Pennington. Spring sports are set to end regular season play and move on to regionals with a week left. I'm Jordan Pennington, and this is sports. Up first, softball split wins and losses versus Andover Central. The girls won 4-0 and only played one game. They lost over Valley Center 10-5 in Game 1 and 2-1 in Game 2. Versus Andover, they lost 6-5 in Game 1 and rallied and won 4-3 in Game 2. Track is next. The boys won at the Wichita East Relays event. Winners included Bryce Schwarzenegger in pole vault, Bradley Bond in discus and shot put, and Ryan Bay in high jump. In other relays, both boys and girls finished third. The girls took fifth in field events. Baseball has found success defeating Andover Central 9-1 in a single game. They beat Northwest 11-1 in Game 1, 6-3 in Game 2. The Lions also beat Valley Center 2-1 in Game 1 and 5-3 in Game 2. The girls' soccer team has had a long game schedule. They defeated Salina Central 4-0, but lost to Andover 2-1 and also lost to Valley Center 2-1. Their girls compete next against rival Eisenhower on May 10th. As of today, the boys' tennis season record has top player Isaac Keller with a record of 15-14. Other top players are Cole Albert, Aaron Wolf, Braxton Summers, Dylan Lewis, and Liam Berry. At Arc City, the Goddard boys golf team placed fifth with a total of 403. The three top players from Goddard included Logan Ashford with a score of 93, Jaden Miller with a score of 96, and Jim Terry with a score of 101. Golf will compete at regionals on May 16th. All sports will begin regional play during the week of May 16th. Good luck to all athletes. That's it for sports. Reporting for GHS Media, this has been Jordan Pennington. We've been busy putting together a special video, and we finally get to unveil it. For the first time, here is our softball hype video. Now, if you think this video is super, super cool, then you're in luck, because next year we want to do this 10 times greater with a special theme that's a surprise. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, and born like this, immaculate conception.
Should not transform like this, perform like this Was y'all, she was new weapon I don't contemplate, I meditate Then off your head This that put the kids to bed Yeah, soldier's DNA Born inside, my power was here I, I got loyalty, got royalty inside this is my DNA This is why Well, seniors, we just want to thank you for four years of your hard work. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll miss y'all. <laughs> now they always say congratulations. Work so hard for God. And that's it for us. Enjoy your summer. We will see you again next year. You ready for next year? Yes.